right, man, we on the road, knocking some things out. So the Pittsburgh Steelers actually picks up, they signed uh, former Miami Dolphins head coach uh, Brian Flores to a defensive assistant and linebacker uh, position. You know, they were saying that, you know, because of his class action lawsuit, which anybody else, for the most part, who can relate to what he was going through within just, well, inequality in the hiring process, which, you know, in part of his case, he got a point. Because, you know, obviously the NFL has admitted that they have a, a minority issue. And that's why you had a Rooney rule. And then the Rooney rule got souped up a little bit more. Uh, so on and so on. But, uh, but you know, they, they hire him. And, you know, I'm not, I mean, you know, most people say, well, they're not going to hire him again. He ended his career off now. Um, I think he may not be a head coach again after this. You know what I'm saying? Or maybe, you know, the NFL admit, okay, we got a problem. You know, a lot of people bash Kaepernick for trying to come back into the league and turn it down. What was it? The XFL, FL, whatever the hell it was. But uh, check out the NFL Talk playlist. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Christians and notifications will go live. Um, and hit the link tree. Uh, link in the description. You can find me everywhere there. Um, I'm not surprised. The NFL got a safe face. And what you don't understand is the commissioner is hired by the other 32 NFL owners. And I think Roger Goodell was talking about he not concerned about getting an extension coming up so his contract might be coming up he make a lot of money a year like 30 million 28 depending on the year and when donald trump became president the nfl turned from a, a non-profit to a profit organization knowing they was gonna get a lot of you know the taxes wasn't gonna eat them up and stuff of that nature so um i'm not really surprised they admitted they have a problem and blackballing brian flores whiteballing brian flores whatever you want to call it um that's just, that's just gonna give his uh that's just going to give his case validity and people that can join in. You know, it's, ain't nobody really joined in. Hugh Jackson said his piece. You know, Jim Caldwell didn't join in. Lovey Smith got hired as a token guy. Um, and most people's opinion can't say that's factual. That's an opinion. Um, and I can't even say, to me, in my opinion, it ain't token because it was one of the worst position, one of the worst coaching hires to have outside of uh, New Orleans who were almost $80 million over the cap. And that's why Sean Payton tapped out of there. Okay, so I can't even say it's a bad it was it's a bad coaching job, but you know what? He might have an established quarterback there with Davis Mills. You know what I'm saying? Because Davis Mills is pretty good in my opinion. He's the second best quarterback in the draft class so far from the 2000 what 21 draft. So, um, but at the end of the day, I'm not surprised. You know them not giving him an opportunity. You know what I'm saying back in the NFL, and also which you know opportunities in the NFL block your opportunities in the NFL. Let's potty in the back. Uh, well, with me today. Uh, it blocked your opportunities in the, in the NCAA too because Stephen Ross is a former is, is, is ownership he came from Miami. He's a, a former. Um, he's a he he's the he's a Michigan uh, alumni. So so a lot of the guys that's in college football and that's in football have a lot of power in college football. You know, even in the music entertainment world, a lot of them have power in college football. So a lot of them have friends in the NFL, kind of intertwined with each other. So. Um, I'm not surprised because that not giving not giving him an opportunity would admit that uh would admit that I'm wrong. They have admitted wrong. I, I'm not surprised, bro. I mean, Kaepernick situation um is different. Now, Flores become another head coach candidate. I doubt it. You know, I'm not for surprised the Steelers had a hand in this because the Steelers created. You know, they all, owner Art Rooney created the Rooney Rule. That's why it's called the Rooney Rule. So you know, the Steelers is one of the most legendary uh, organizations ever. But if, we, if they want to admit they really got a minority issue, bro, it really got to boil down to the Broncos are selling. I mean, the Jaguars could be selling. Shad Khan seemed like a lot of frustrated in Jacksonville. Um, they could, all right. Could be other uh, other opportunities. And they got to, they gotta, I mean, I hate to say give because, it's, you know, it's a probably a lot of other owners, the urban owners. But, you know, people act like the NBA so far ahead because they embrace the hip-hop culture. But... They not as far as head as most people think because they have one minority owner and that's somebody like Michael Jordan. So they have two, I believe, in history with Ben Johnson or the Johnson kid that own uh Yeah, Bob Johnson who used to own B T. Uh, he used to he used to own Charlotte, Bob Cassidy, and to Horn and they sold to Michael Jordan. He took him back to the uh Okay. Let's sit come on. Let's sit back now. He uh gave he sold, you know, he turned it back to the Hornets and stuff of that nature, so I mean, at the end of the day, I'm not surprised because, you know, if you admitting that you have an issue, then you're going to try to fix it. So, I mean, maybe, I mean, most people say he'll never work again. Most people say Mike, uh, Kaepernick would never got another trial, another opportunity again. But uh, he did. 
So he did. So, I mean, that is what it is. He got another opportunity. Um, hopefully, he manifests him becoming a head coach again and no hard feelings. But we know he probably never won't be a head coach on the NFL level again. And that's the way you feel. But, you know, he got got demoted, you know, from coaching, high coaching candidate to people saying why he didn't get hired again. To people say, well, why did he tap out of the coaching, pro uh, you know, do this in the middle of the coaching hire process knowing that he was hired? Houston, look how they did David Culley. Nobody wants that job. New Orleans, almost $80 million under the cap. Over the cap, nobody wants that job. So, they was two shitty-ass jobs. Byron Left was supposed to get the Jacksonville Jaguars job. He didn't get it because he didn't want to work with the general manager, which the coach, with the general manager brought Urban Myers in, so they should be fired together. So, I mean, it's not a win for minorities, bro. And, you know, it's like any other corporate America type of job. It's on a buddy-buddy system. You know what I'm saying? You know, obviously you have to meet the minimum credentials in, in a lot of, in some of these, uh, these upper echelon, uh, you know, like, you know, if you go, you know, you got to be a teacher, obviously you got to have a degree. If you want to be a, uh, you know, engineer, you got to have a degree, but most stuff on, on, on a corporate level works in a buddy, buddy system. I'm going to get you in. I'm going to put my name on application. I'm going to, you know, jump you over. That's how most of it work. That's why you got to try to get hired at certain jobs. You know, you ain't get hired or you get picked. So, I mean, that's just the way it run. Um, if anybody can get them back in the coaching, you know, search, it's Mike Tomlins, the Steelers. Um, they, they upgraded Terrell Austin to defensive coordinator. He was with Detroit for a minute, has a top three defense. Then he got scapegoated by Marvin. Uh, what was the coach from uh, from Cincinnati for all them years? Marvin Lewis scapegoated him, and, you know, then and back and forth, that third, fifth, all that stuff. So, yeah, so he back in the game. Not sure he'd be a head coach or candidate on a the, on the professional level again. Or maybe he might be the post spokesman. Maybe they might hash a deal. Be like, you know what, man? We're going to start a program. We're going to name it the Flores program. And we're we going to figure out how we can get better uh, around the issue instead of attacking the issue. People say, well, what is the issue? You know what I'm saying? And the issue is that it's not enough minority owners. But they're going to work around that. Because the owners hire homeboys, the guys they got, you know, they can relate to. If you grew up in the suburbs, you're not going to relate to somebody from the hood who had to struggle to get where they at. You're going to relate from somebody who grew up carried from a nice background or somebody that looked like you. And that's just, and that's just how corporate America works. Now, have I seen situations where people come in and interviews and, you know, so, oh, you know, I need this. And they hire them. Absolutely. It's a lot of great people out there. I've, I've hired people, you know, uh, when I was in a position of power to hire people. I've hired people. You know, who didn't have pretty much the skill, but I could see the hunger in their eyes. And, you know, they came to work and did what they got to do and kept their word. You know, it's, it's, it's anomalies like that. But, like I said before, hopefully, you know, in a second chance, him and the NFL can figure it out. But whiteballing him or blackballing him, you know, wasn't going to help their case to begin with. So, I mean, we'll see. You know, maybe they can figure out how to work around a problem. But the real issue is lack of diversity and ownership, Strip, straight up and down. You know, people say, why don't the players, you know, fight for equality and they don't stand up for something like that? This is how they eat, bro. Most of them niggas got career. I remember it was a football athlete. I think it was a football player. He had a, I'm not going to say his name. He had a degree in child development. Like, and I stand in his parents' basement. Or that was a story a few years ago. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, it is what it is, bro. Um, we'll see. They're going to work around a problem instead of fixing the problem. And um, it is what it is. You know, tell me know what you girls and guys think. Check the NFL playlist. I hit the link tree app. You can find me everywhere. I'm on social media where I'm at. Producing content. Want to make a financial donation. Cash app. Dollar sign. CJ Good 313. Venmo CJ Good 313. PayPal link description. Appreciate the love support. Check the NFL playlist for more videos like this. Peace.